Okay, I've got this nice uh, map here for, of Ethiopia uh, that I downloaded from Wikimedia Commons. It's a public domain map by the CIA Factbook, uh, so I can do anything I want with it, really, because it's public domain. Um, and what I really want to do is get a nice outline of it, but the problem is it's a, it's a bitmapped image. It's a PNG file, so if, if I zoom in too close, you see it gets all, all pixelated, and that's not very good. So I'm going to use Inkscape to turn it into a vector graphic. Now there's a couple of different ways you can do this. First I'm going to get the graphic in. I could have copied and pasted it, but I'm going to import it in here. And it'll ask when you import it, do you want to embed or link it? For this case it doesn't really matter, so I'm just going to embed it. Now there's two ways you could I could turn this into a vector graphic. The Probably the more accurate way is to use the Bezier Curve tool to draw a, the line around the outside of it. And that works pretty well when you got straight lines and hard curves like some of these corners here of Ethiopia. But when you get to uh, curves, you have to click and drag to get a Bezier curve, click to get a straight corner, and so forth. And if I went all the way around here, it would take a long time. So I'm just going to stop and uh, show how this would work and pretend that I'm doing this right. So if I click and drag, I can adjust the curves and then click to the end and I get it all done. If I wanted to adjust it then, I can use this node tool to, to move some of the nodes around uh, and get a good outline for there. But that's going to take a long time and I'm going to do this the lazy way. So I'm going to delete that and instead I'm going to use Inkscape's trace function where it can take a bitmap image and trace it and basically turn it into a uh, vector graphic couple of ways, and you can do a number of different things. One of the things I use is the Colors tool. You can uh, choose how many different colors you're going to use. If you click Update, you get a preview here showing what it looks like. Uh, and then I'm just going to click OK. Close this, and what I've got now is a vector gra graphic of the map. It's, looks, it's not quite as sharp, but that's OK. We'll, f we'll fix some of that. Um, and I don't need my original graphics, so I'm going to just delete that. Now, it's all the different colors, um, and what I need is uh, I'm going to break it apart so I can get a couple of different things. So I'm going to ungroup this and then drag out the different colors. Now, there's the blue that's in there. Uh, here's the brown. I'm going to keep that blue and get rid of some of the others. Okay. Uh, and then if I keep going around, there's a pink background here, and then there's this uh, border. So all I really want is this pink, and here's my blue. Now this is one of the, the neat things. If I select both of these, I'm going to drag around to get both of them selected. Uh, <coughs> in the path, you can find the intersection of these two, uh, or the difference of them, and it, what it'll do is it'll kind of um, cut one out of the other. So there, if you see that, I've got the difference now. So I've got my nice pink thing. I'm going to make this darker, so I'm going to make it a kind of a grayish green. Oh, and look, I've got some lines here. So I'm going to need to edit this. With the Node tool, I can edit this. Uh, and I want to get rid of all of these nodes over here. So I'm going to select around those and then delete those nodes. And it tr you can see I get some weird artifacts here, this stuff. It tries to kind of keep the shape. So, But if I delete those, then that's pretty good. Now I can get rid of the, the, the Nile River in here. Again, if I select these and delete it, I get, again, I get this whole Inkscape's trying to say, well, let's keep it kind of the same. Uh, but I'm going to just kind of ignore that for the moment, delete the extra nodes select these and delete. And that's all I'm doing is selecting and deleting. Then I want to zoom in, so I'll press my plus key. And you can see it's trying to keep that hole in there. If I grab these handles, I can bring them back in so I don't get this hole. And then minus key to zoom back out. And there's my outline map of Ethiopia. It's not perhaps as detailed as if I had drawn it myself, um, but it's it's not too bad. Uh, for a good map of Ethiopia, uh, for a good map that I can use for other purposes. And again, the advantage of a vector graphic is if I zoom in close, you can see I don't get any pixelated corners. 
it all stays pretty sharp because it's a vector graphic rather than a bitmap. And that's how you can adjust a, a picture of any kind of a picture file uh, and turn it into a vector graphic using Inkscape.